Hey guys and welcome back to Johnny Plays Minecraft. This is episode 33 and we're going to be get to be beginning um, the next big build project today, which is awesome. I'm excited to just kind of show you guys what it is and show my plans. Um, it's more of an introductory today, I guess, to show you guys kind of uh, what I've been up to because um, I've been doing a lot off camera stuff. Um, and yes, yeah, so quickly here I'll show you the iron golem farm is up and working which is awesome um, now the way this works and I want to I want to give you guys kind of an idea about what I've been thinking so the way this works is these guys will fall down um, in here and then I stand on here and they'll get crushed now this takes a really long time um, they have a lot of uh, a lot of health and uh, hopefully this is not too loud I can lower it down when I edit anyway um, but they have a lot of health, and something I'm worrying about is like, I just can't bother standing here for so long. So, what I'm thinking of doing is actually moving these pressure plates inside um, and putting them in the middle blocks there. So, what will happen is when the iron golems fall down, they'll hit the pressure plates and crush themselves. Um, and then, of course, once they've crushed themselves, I'll put some hoppers down there as well and the hoppers will collect, you know, all the iron. So I think that could be a really cool, uh, maybe, idea. And then I can use the hoppers to filter it down into, a, into an iron collection point. And uh, yeah, so as you can see, that took a little bit there, but we got a lot of iron out of it, which is awesome. And um, yeah, we can filter it down into a um, collection system um, from there. So um, we're going to head down into the new area now, and I'm going to show you guys kind of what I've been up to and what I've been doing and what we're going to do. And um, I'm not sure how much we'll do exactly today, but just wanted to introduce it today and kind of get your ideas and stuff. So I really need your feedback this episode, guys. So help me out in the comments, and uh, we'll see how we go from there. And uh, one thing before I just walk into here um, is I'm considering making my videos only go for about... Um, 20 minutes long now rather than the 30 minutes just because I think it's a lot easier for me to uh, to make them and it kind of will want to make you watch um, a little bit more as well because you don't have to sit around for an extra 10 minutes um, so it can make it a bit more easy for you to watch um, just for a while um, I'd like to try and uh, bring back the audience I mean people have been coming back lately which has been awesome um, views have been skyrocketing which has been awesome and um, yeah, like, yeah, I just want to, I want to try and make it a lot easier for you guys to watch and interact with, and I uh, want to try and get the comments and go and uh, buzz in again with lots of feedback, so I'm going to try and ask um, some more questions throughout the episodes, and I might, maybe next episode, the one after, we might bring back the uh, question of the episode segment, so, yes, yes, so I've been digging out a lot, um, I've been... Yeah, just, I've come in here, I've been digging all this down, and I've been digging all this down, and as you can see, I'm starting over that area. Um, I started with a smaller circle, as you can see, it's kind of marked out here, and then I decided I needed to make it a lot bigger, as it wasn't really um, big enough for what I wanted to do. So, there's a lot of, there's a lot of uh, stone I need to move out of the way, and as you can see, all these chests are completely full of cobblestone. Um, I need to make a new storage system. But I moved my beacon um, over from the Mesa biome, chucked it in here, it's got haste 2 on, um, yep, and because it's one bigger now, I got the extra iron and made it one bigger, um, haste 2 on, and it's just made things easy. I've got an efficiency 5 pick, which I've just got back, I've, I've, I've blasted through so many picks, it's ridiculous, um, but as you can see, like, efficiency 5 just makes things so much easier, it's just, like, awesome. Um, the thing I'm looking forward to about this one is there is a big ravine here, so that's going to help with me not having to dig out so much, which is good as well. Um, but yeah, so what is this? What is this? What am I doing and why am I going to such a big length to build? What am I digging out here? And what is my plans? Um, so kind of at the moment, where I'm sitting is... Um, so if you guys didn't know, I'm, I've, I watch, I'm a big fan of Doctor Who, and... A few weeks ago, they had their 50th year anniversary of the show being, you know, being around, and that was pretty cool. And about that time, I was kind of, um, I just was doing something. I was looking up uh, some stuff in Google Images, and I searched Gallifrey, which is, um, for those people who don't know, it's kind of like the Doctor's um, planet's home city kind of thing. Anyway, I looked it up, and I found this really cool image of, um, like, this 
big building and it's kind of floating. It's over this big hole, right? And it's, it's kind of floating and it's got these uh, bridges going over the hole to the land over to the middle. And um, yeah, it's got these bridges and these are the access points and it's got this little spire going down to the bottom and it looked really awesome. I was like, wow, that's cool. And I kind of thought to myself, maybe it'd be awesome to do something like that. Um, and that's kind of where I'm at. Now, as you can see, I'm still a fair way under the surface at the moment. Um, but what I was thinking is I was planning to have the bridges about here and having the walkways about here. But um, I'm going to have to dig some of the roof out anyway. And what I was thinking is maybe having a big hole in the earth above and having this big spire um, of a big tower or something coming right out the middle might look awesome. Um, so that's kind of my plans at the moment. So I'm not sure exactly how these bridges, if these bridges here that I've kind of left um, are going to be the actual bridges yet. So um, that's kind of that. And why I've dug it down kind of like this step pattern is just I needed a I needed it. I needed a way to get up and down really easy. And if I got knocked off, because there's been mobs spawning in as well, if I get knocked off, I can't afford to just keep falling down um, and dying. And I need a good way to get back up. So I've kind of kept it like this. But this will all be a big hole eventually, I'm pretty sure. Um, there's a lot of digging to go. And uh, a lot more digging t yeah, to go. But as you can see through here, this actually connects right up to where I had my skeleton spawner tunnels so this connects right up there so that makes me getting down there really easy um which has been helpful for getting levels to be able to enchant my picks and stuff but anyway um this is kind of where i'm up to with the big build at the moment i just wanted to introduce it to you guys today in the episode and um i'm gonna have a cut here and get some more things sorted out and um before i record because i need to do something in this episode i haven't really got anything to plan i just wanted to show you guys what i've been up to um so yeah, I've been watching movies, watching How Met Your Mother, blasting through all this stone, and um, yeah, we're going to get into it. So, just before I go, hopefully you've st stuck with it um, through this um, through this part of the video. Now, hopefully I can remember to put an image up on screen of the image I was kind of thinking about going along or basing the build off of. I'm going to try and put that either up on screen or in the description, so go check that out. And what I would like your guys' help with is... What do you think could go, what do you think would be interesting, right, in this place? So, down the bottom, I've had a few ideas. So, down the bottom, because there's going to be a big hole and it's just going to be like a huge hole going straight down to the bottom of the world. What I was thinking is down the bottom we could put a portal and we could kind of have it really, um, really uh, disgusting down there, kind of, and really evil. Like the nethers down there and at the bottom of the pit there's just like this evil dark um kind of nether just escaping everywhere and taking it trying to take over the world um and then kind of as we come up this floating island's kind of like the opposite so kind of like the heaven kind of sits it bit so it'll be like really white and really or not necessarily really white but it'll be really you know slick and really nice looking and that's kind of my that's an idea at the moment um so i want your guys um, opinions on what you think of that and what do you think we could put around because um, yeah hoping to have the bridges underground so we're gonna have tunnels kind of going um, as I've got now so you're gonna have tunnels kind of going out there we're gonna have tunnels on each of the sides and um, what can we put in them do you reckon what what yeah I just need some ideas I want you guys to try and get really interactive with this video and um, Give me some ideas. Um, I kind of yeah. If you look at the build and you um, or look at the picture and kind of get the theme I'm going with, maybe you can come up with some cool ideas. Because I know you guys are really creative. I've gotten some really awesome ideas out of out of my subscribers. So let me know, guys. I'm gonna cut it here, get some more work done, and work out what I want to do for the rest of the video. Um, I hope I didn't blabber on for too long there, and hopefully you stuck around. But I'll see you guys in a little bit, and um, yeah, let's begin work on the next big build project okay guys so welcome back and just kind of to end the video here i think what we're going to do is we're going to hook up the uh fix up this kind of um uh, the iron golem spawner 
Uh oh, I ain't gone farm. I put a ladder up here to the top because I've needed an easy way to get up and down. I think that's a good way to do it. Um, so what I did is I actually moved the pressure plate. I've just done one now and it's now here. So when the guys actually fall down, they'll fall onto the pressure plate here and they'll crush themselves and then the iron should go into these hoppers. Um, it's like, yeah, it should. I, I don't see why it wouldn't. Um, so then down here, what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a um, an item sorter down here, which is going to sort out the roses from the um, from the iron. So it's just going to be a really small, it's really compact system. I like literally just learned how to build this, and it's awesome. Um, so I've just started it here. I, I just recorded um, me doing it down there, but I just didn't like the clip and uh, it just wasn't helpful being down there. So I'm going to do it again um, and we're going to do it up here this time. So the way you have to do this, so once you've got, I'm going to do two at a time here, but um, you can halve this. So the first thing you kind of need to do um, is, I'm just thinking, yeah, so you, you kind of, um, you have, you have your uh, hopper path going over the top. And then what you have to do is you have to place two ho uh, hopper underneath your hopper path, and that needs to face backwards and into a comparator. Um, and this comparator is going to detect when there's items in here and what items are in there. Um, and then what you have to do is you have to... Do, uh, I've got to do it to the other one too, so we can't reach that. That would be beautiful. Can we reach that somehow? Nope. Nope. Um, let's just remove these. Um, so let's put that there. Uh, I want to go pick that up, or is it has it fallen or is it not fallen? It has. Okay. Um. Anyway. Uh. So yeah, you got to put your hoppers into these comparators, and this will detect um when there's blocks in there, and then um you've kind of got to have with the comparators you've got to have this kind of um, corner shape, and then one at the back there, and put redstone at the back, and then if we get down to the ground again. Um, underneath this top block you want to put um, another block and inside of there which we might just remove that for for a second and if we just build up inside of there you actually want to put two repeaters um, if we can do that facing the right way I might have to remove this um, let's do that there we go and not put a block there and we'll do another one here awesome and I'll put that redstone back up on top there and like up, that's like and then all we have to do then is once you got your repeaters in um, you just need to put two redstone torches um, in under there and um, that's like nearly your design done but there's only like a few more things you got to do or like two more things so um, so it's, yeah that's like it that's all the redstone that's really compact um, so the next thing you kind of want to do though is um, two blocks, um, yeah, hang on, how do we do this, yeah, um, under the, under these hoppers, you want to put two more hoppers, but they're going to go into chests, so I'm going to put the chest down first, just to make things easier, which one's the trap one, this one can go there, so you want to put two chests kind of on the diagonal to those hoppers, and you want to put two more hoppers kind of going into these chests, and the last thing you need to do is, if you get Oh, there you go, all the items are coming in, that worked. Um, if you didn't hear that guy burning up there. Um, you need to get 18 blocks of one type, and you need to put it inside, um, inside the uh, hopper, and you need to put um, three more in the last three slots as well. Now, what this will do um, is this will fill the hopper up, and I'll show you, I'll explain it a little bit more in a second. So when you put this um, rose in here, this, uh, or this poppy, this will tell... Um, this will tell the hopper that you want to filter hoppies, um, hoppies through. Um, so once I put another item in, so at the moment the total items in there is 22. There's 22 items inside this hopper. Um, 21 of them are cobblestone, one is a poppy. And when we go to 23, it gets filtered through. So once you get to 23, this um, gets turned off, I think, and that turns off all the redstone and it manages to turn off the redstone torch, kind of. And then that'll actually let the next item through. So what this will actually do is this, there's no slots, because there's no slots in here, um, when we put iron through, the iron won't be able to be filtered into here, but instead if we put roses in, and we just take out all this, um, the roses will, or the poppies will go through, and the iron will continue on to, uh, I don't know where it is, it'll be in here for now. Um, and then all we need to do if we want for this other chest, because we're going to make it iron, um, 
is we just need to get 18 blocks again. So we just do that again. 18 in that second slot, three more at the back, and then an iron piece of iron right there. And that, that'll just filter it all through now. So if I chuck a bunch of them in, and if I chuck the poppies in, um, first it'll all filter out properly, and we'll get a bunch of poppies in here, and we'll get a bunch of iron in here. Is that a wall now? Nope. Have we, have we got stuck somewhere? No, it's all coming. Um, yeah, so that works. That's pretty much how it works. Um, so that's kind of a really compact um, item sorter. Um, if you ever wanted to know how to make it, um, I'm just trying to keep these videos short, I guess. At the moment, I want to try and cut back to maybe a 20 minute videos. Um, this one was, I just I just really made this video. I needed to get an episode out to you guys. And I just pretty much today, I wanted to show you guys the new area and the new big build project. And I really want your feedback and ideas on it. Um, let's go in there one last time. And um, I was thinking about it a little bit more and maybe I'm thinking, maybe we definitely do go out outside the top, but I've got a lot of digging to do and uh, I need your guys, you guys to leave some feedback. So I've got a lot of digging to do and you guys have got a lot of feedback to give. <laughs> so help me out guys, I really need it. And um, yeah, but if you did go on to, if you did enjoy this video, I mean, feel free to hit that like button. It definitely helps me out and it definitely supports the series. Help me out in the comments with your feedback. Um, if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe. Uh, we're getting so close to that 1,000 subscriber mark, which is absolutely awesome. And I uh, just wanted to thank you guys all for that. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.